valuation of their currencies that are just absolutely eating us alive. And it's not going to happen anymore, folks. We've got to be the smart people. You know, I'm a free trader. Some of these people would say, he is not a free trader. I said, folks, I want to be smart. We want to have smart trade. You know, somebody would say, he is not a true conservative. I am so conservative. But we have to make great deals, right? Right now, when we have free trade, that's fine if you have smart leaders. We have dummies. We don't have smart leaders. We don't have smart leaders. So what happens, as an example, is China. China sends all this stuff over here. And by the way, they're dumping steel all over the place and they're knocking out your steel. You understand that. But China sends stuff over here. No tax, no nothing, no problem. Come on in, folks. We don't care if it's good product, bad product. When we want to go to China with your companies from Indiana, it's impossible to get the product in. And if you do get it in, they tax you right through the hill. I don't know if they were kind of, I think, yeah, I think so. Oh, we love it. Do we love this? this is, yeah, you can get it on. You know the only problem? The great thing is the cameras will turn. That's the only time they turn. They always keep the camera on my face. They never, then they never say, like, how big, look at the size of this crowd. But, but when they have somebody over there, they show them. So look. So, friends of mine in manufacturing cannot get their product into China. That is not fair trade, it's not free trade, it's stupid trade for our country, and we're not going to do it anymore, folks, we're not going to do it anymore. Now, let's talk, because this hits home. As some of you know, I've been talking for a long time about carrier. Yeah, get them out, get them out. You know, they all came at the same time in the same little section, and they go one at a time, raise their hand. And, and I have to tell you, we have the safest rallies and probably the safest places to be anywhere in the country. The safety here is... You know, when I first started this, we were getting these massive crowds. We had 35,000 people in Alabama. We had 25,000 in Tampa and Orlando. I mean, we have big crowds. And when I first started, when there'd be somebody like this, wise guys, you know. But when I first started, I'd say, get them out! Get them out! And, and the next day, the press was like, oh, he was terrible the way he talked to those people. You know, you have these people screaming, shouting, and punching people. So I said, get them out. Next day, I said, you know, I'm going to do it differently. So we had a protest. You know, they're agitators. They're professionals. Most of them. Do you ever see their signs? They're made in a factory. Probably in China, not maybe in China. But they hold up a sign that's factory made. I want the ones that make the signs in the garage, right? That's the ones. But the next day, we had a protest.